my channel. It is your girl, Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. Smile for me. So I have gotten a few, um, I guess, comments about how to set up a Kin Custom on um, and integrate with Etsy. But this is my YouTube page, Smiley Kwanza. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And um, I can't even remember if I actually set up my um, Etsy with King Custom, but as I was playing around with the system, I do have this one set shop here, but I did notice that you can create your products and then when you export it, you can export it to Etsy or you can go here. Um, I am not on the homepage. I'm like, in, I'm in the homepage, but like in the back office um, in like Creator Studio. It's like it'll say create a studio and it says sell wholesale, right? So you'll see sell wholesale and then it's you'll click down and hit Etsy and then you'll hit connect. So it says I did not select a product because I didn't. So um, I don't think any of these are my products, but I'm going to just choose. I'm just going to choose this product. But if it was your product, you would do it the other way. Um, and I guess we can do that real quick. So I'm not showing you guys how to sell somebody else's product, more so yours. So we're going to go ahead and go to our designs. And let me go to create a merch because that's where it should be at. Okay, I am going to I'm going to choose this shirt because I just think it's funny. <laughs> and I'm going to choose that shirt and it does the same thing here. So it says select. I'm going to hit Etsy and then I'm going to hit connect, right? So it says please enter your brand, which is your business name. And then it says set up API information. Please select shop um, URL. So set up the API information. You click on that and it should enter you into like the Etsy integration thing, which is here. So the term Etsy is trademarked. The application uses the Etsy API, but is not endorsed or certified by Etsy. So it wants you to add your Etsy store information. So if you want help on how to do that, you hit API help and it tells you how to integrate with Etsy. So, let me see. So API settings, enter your Etsy store name and click API keys. Okay, I'm gonna hit a add API keys, but that's not it, so. Enter your Etsy store name and click API. Oh, my store name. Duh. Coins and connections. Sorry, guys. Because, like I said, I don't have mine connected anyway. So, I don't know if my Etsy thing was all one letters or not, but here it is. It says the application would like to connect to your Etsy account. And then you go ahead and hit allow access. So it says my Etsy store is added. And now it's redirecting me. So now I have my Etsy store added to King Custom. So now I can go back to Created Merch. And guys, that was just as simple as once you create your, you know, products, you just hit select. I'm going to hit Etsy and I'm going to hit connect. So I already did it, but I don't know why is it telling me this again. Maybe I need to check my Etsy to see. Oh, here it is. So now it's there. So now I can submit it. I was about to get pissed off. <laughs> okay? I was about to be so mad. So it's probably doing its thing right now. And then I'm going to go to my Etsy store. Um... I'm going to do a little refresh and then I'm going to go to my listings and see. 
But there's also a King Custom video on um, YouTube that shows you once you create all your products, you can do it the same way and send it to Etsy by, you know, connecting the API keys and whatnot. So export it successfully done. So that is on, it should be showing up on my Etsy store. And again, guys, all the magic happens right here. So you can, I would say, go ahead and create all of your designs um, and then work on connecting them all that way, especially if you have the same store. So now I'm just um, waiting on my Etsy. And again, this was key information, but it didn't, like, I didn't have to go to that. So that was just one thing that, you know, wasn't the same. But here are directions on Ken Custom as well, like how to export it after you create it. Um, here's another view. So it's actually on their website for the ones who have been asking. This information is on their website and it shows you exactly how to connect it to Etsy. Um, but here is the video as well. I'll actually make sure I copy this actual URL and put it in my tutorial. I uh, don't know what's taken so long for my store to show up. Let me go back and just see what's going on because that's taking forever to show up. All I'm trying to do is see my listing. So, um, waiting on the listings to show up because this was not supposed to be a long video at all. So, I'm going to pause this until it comes up. Okay, so it should be inactive. But let's see. Oh, maybe it's in draft. Here it goes. And here is my shirt that I moved from King Custom. And we're going to go ahead and click on it because it has the stock information as well. It brings over just the generic, you know cover it does bring over the picture i don't know how many it brought over all the pictures what else did it bring over it brought over some stuff that ain't gonna even be able to you know be translated over here but you can fix that i think it brought over its SKU number as well and the price and you can change the quantity so um it also brought over their shipping information so all of that is good information to know but again i am going to add this in the video so you guys know how to set up your own etsy store with kin custom and i hope you guys enjoyed that quick quick video on how to integrate your kin custom store with your etsy shop and good luck on your print on demand journey remember that you can check out all of my courses and tutorials at gumroad.com backslash and quantacock smith and until next time i love you more than i love this video peace well peace